Hi there, I'm James and today I'm in Eastbourne which can be found in the south east of the United Kingdom. That's Eastbourne Pier over there. Eastbourne Pier was badly damaged in a fire about two years ago and it's recently been restored and a shake has paid for that so they've got a big sign saying Shake Pier, a bit like Shakespeare. There are some impressive looking hotels over there. It is uh, one of the nicest resorts that I know of in the south of the United Kingdom. As you scroll around, I start to think I'm in Wellington, New Zealand or somewhere different. All these palm trees. But then something that reminds me that I am in fact in the United Kingdom is this Martello Tower here. I believe it was built in the Napoleonic times. I don't think they were ever used during a war. Although they do have very thick walls so they make great houses if you don't want to be burgled. Beyond the Martello Tower you can see White Cliffs. The White Cliffs looking on towards Brighton and there's a famous head and called Beachy Head there's a lighthouse there so farewell from Eastbourne uh, if you spend too much time in London then a great place to come is Berlin Gap which you can see on the map uh, north is actually it's all upside down so maybe it's something like that and then London to the north if that was the map we've got these sheer short cliffs a little bit like uh, scenes from James and the Giant Peach Panning around, some nice countryside, great place to unwind. And a beach here. This is a pub called the Tiger Inn. Nice grassy square where I'm stood. And over here we have the actual house where the consulting detective Sherlock Holmes lived when he retired. Then coming around, we have a Thai restaurant which is a bit unexpected in an English village in the middle of nowhere. 